Hello guys, so once again, I bring you guys greetings from this part of the world, Australia. I brought an important message that will really be uh, beneficial for those who are interested in uh, migration to Australia. Most importantly, remember, what I, I do is to educate you about the Australian immigration system. I'm not an immigration agent, and I don't intend to be, and I'm just going to just keep sharing and educating you about Australia lifestyle, Australia food, Australia, everything Australia, I try to share in, my, in this particular page. And... Today, the most important thing that I'm going to be talking about is the student visa. I already made a video, pre previous video, for those who have watched my videos, because not everybody that follows me watch my videos, but they want a personal time to talk to me. They want to hear from me, but they don't watch my videos. And then what they want to ask me about is actually the things I've said in my videos, which are beneficial to them, but they don't want to watch my videos. They want to pay me 10 million naira. They want to pay me a lot of money to be able to have my time. I'm sorry. I, I don't have that time. I can only do what I'm doing right now. All right. And some of you who choose to send me, to call me names and all of that. I don't know. But for some of us, <laughs> we are, the only name we know is, is in the Bible. Or in, <laughs> anyone, any, anything God has called us, that's the one we will take. It's not the one you're saying. Yes. First of all, I, I, can, I can imagine somebody watching me and saying, go straight to the point. Don't waste my time. Baba, if I'm going to go straight to the point and you don't like it, please don't watch this video. <laughs> All right. Most importantly, the one of, one of the first thing I want to say is this. For Australian immigration, there's a lot of changes happening. If you're planning to come to Australia in this, in this coming financial year, it means that you have to be on a skilled level. It means that you have an occupation, you're going to come through skilled visa. But if you're not saying you are interested in coming for student visa, it's important that you hear what I'm about to say. Number one is that you are going to be able to know that Australia now have capped the number of student, students that will be coming to universities in Australia. You know what I'm trying to say? That Australia has capped. When I mean cap, cap means before Australia, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't have limit. They don't, they don't say uh, anybody who qualifies, you bring them in. But now they're trying to say that, for instance, if you have, as we have nine states in Australia, the state South Australia, we're going to give you maybe, I'm giving an example, two, two slots. And um, so Western Australia, we're going to give you two slots. You know, we know what that I mean. That means that means whether you're qualified or not. If that slot is full, it means that particular year is done. That's it, though. <laughs> That's the new level. <laughs> and the goal at the end of the day, I keep saying this, is that they have said it from day one that this goal is to have net immigration in Australia come 2024 for 2025 financial year and it's already happening they're trying to block everything and um, australia is more interested now in skilled occupation and not just skilled occupation golden skills what people used to have in the occupation list is going to change even in this time keep watching my videos i have a lot of updates coming up all right take care of yourself and don't forget to share and subscribe and also let me know what you think in the comment section. I read them all. I really do. All right. Take care of yourself.